What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to the P Paniola Ranch, and I sort of maybe forgot a few things that we needed to do right there. So we're going to go ahead and rectify all that crud. Um, uh, let's see, first is first. I'm looking at some stuff. There are quite a few items around here that you can actually get. So we're going to go ahead and grab them first. Here we found ourselves an amulet coin which is always nice and we're gonna go back inside to the uh, nursery right here because we forgot to talk to this individual talk to her hello do you want to use this uh, and awaken your Pokemon's hidden powers get ourselves the TM 10 which is hidden power now it all it all depends on you know the type of or the changes the type of depending on the Pokemon it learns it somehow it I can uh, tell what type of the move can it will be. If you'd like, I check the type of your hidden power for your Pokemon it will learn. Would you like to know this? Sure. So, in uh, well, in regular terms, there are there is a huge math math equation to actually figure that out, which I'm not going to get into because, well, I'm not really much of a math major. I was always a kinesis major. As you can see, I'm checking out Dump Truck's uh, move set for Hidden Power, and it will be a Ghost type move. So, again, it will change depending on you know the leveling and all that stuff of your Pokemon. Now, let's see. I kind of feel like this is actually for a little bit later on. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yes. Okay. So. There is a little something that we needed to do uh, back over to the ranch, and that is going going to talk to a Tauros. Now I'm going to be using a Repel right here because I don't need to be attacked by any of these any of these guys right here. So let's go right ahead and just move on. Now let's see. I'm gonna go back right here and go back straight into the into the ranch and. Right here, you're going to be uh, finding a Tauros that's a little too rowdy. Talk to him. And this guy's like, boo, boo, boar. And, well, let's see. I wouldn't tease that one. If you do, he'll buck and kick you. Tauros are generally no known as spirited Pokemon, but it... But this fellow is pretty feisty even for a Tauros. But I guess it's not surprising considering how new uh, he is to the ranch. I liked uh, I like him to train to become a ride Pokemon, but I can't even uh, put him through his paces if he bucks at every little thing that this is. Oh, well, I guess I need a mistress skill for this one. This mistress, what? Mistress, the mistress of Panola uh, Panola Ranch, of course. She can give you the most unruly Tauros. Snap right into line. Right then, it's time we call the mistress. The mistress. Who is the mistress? I want to know who the mistress is. And oh, oh, you mean to tell me that this Toro is going to... Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. Here is, uh, Here she is, the mistress of the ranch, Miltank. Moo moo. One roar from this Miltank and the, even the most ordinary uh, Tauros is instantly as quiet as the little Litten. Mil moo. Oh, so they're about to mm, 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 get it on. And look at that, they're talking. Moo, 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 okay. So they're really talking it up, and, uh, well, they do have a stronger, they do, uh, they do say that the stronger the Taurus is, the harder it is to control. Looks like even it, the, the mistress is having a tough time with this one. Maybe if he burns off all the excess energy, it'll be easier to bring him a heal. What do you think? How about taking the Taurus to, into a battle? Sure, I'll battle it. Then don't hold back. Go all out against this one. Okay, so here we go. Going up against a Tauros. Not oh wow, he has a Tauros. So we're taking on Wesley right here. Now we're gonna just battle him, you know, outright. But here comes the Tauros that is uh you know, the Tauros is not really uh you know fitting in fitting in with the whole people, and it's at level 15. So let's go ahead and poison this guy. Here comes a horn attack. Good gravy, it is strong. So here goes, poison attack. And that poison attack is perfect right there because now it is getting hurt. 
And, well, let's see. Tauros is hurt by the poison, so let's go right ahead and start lowering its defense. And here comes Rage Attack. And that right there hits me. Here comes a Bite Attack that will actually feed into its Rage. And, well, its poison is definitely doing some damage right there. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go straight for the Bite Attack. And here comes Scary Face. And, oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. Bite attack again. And there's that poison hurting this Tauros. Nearly defeating it. So let's go ahead and do it one more time for the bite attack. Here comes Rage. And that one actually hits us pretty hard. So there we go. Bite attack for the win. There goes good old Tauros. And Dump Truck rose to level 18. Definitely doing its thing right there. And it's learning Poison Fang. Okay, so that's a new move. So let's go ahead and take out Pound Attack right here. Alrighty. And look at that. Okay. So here we go. Another one. Look at that. Wesley has been defeated, so it's been refreshing. And I'm feeling good about that one right there. So, huh. So after defeating this Tauros, looks like you worked up, uh, worked up a fine sweat. I think Tauros feels satisfied too. And well, look at that. He's feeling happy and they're talking. Moo, 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 moo. Hoof, moo, 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 moo. Even Tauros wouldn't stand up to combine powers of pair of you and Mill Tank. Thanks, sweetie. Just what we expected this ranch mistress. Mill, moo. Thanks to you, I think we can finally start on, uh, on this fellow's ride Pokemon training. I hope you'll take this. And look at that. We get ourselves the rides or the scope lens, which will actually help us uh, a little more critical uh, attacks, I think. With ride Pokemon, even people who aren't Pokemon trainers can enjoy a convenient life. Alrighty, okay, so I'm going to move on ahead. Our next route is going to be at Route 5, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and well, now we're going to be going straight up to Route number 5. Well, we're going to actually find ourselves quite a few things, and uh, this guy has located us. He's like, all right, trial goer, have a look at my kids. So, Pokemon are your kids, or I'm so confused right now. I really am. Okay, so here we go, Gentleman Gerald. Uh, that's a gentleman. Holy crud, it just looks like an uncle with a Hawaiian shirt. Okay, so he is coming out with a Sableye, and, well, dumb truck for the rescue right here. Now... I didn't heal my Pokemon, which kind of sucks, but we're going to go with a Poison Fang to see if this actually works right here. So Poison Fang doesn't do much, and, but it does leave some Poison Residue right here. So here comes a Nightshade attack, and that right there keeps my Pokemon at, well, 1 HP, but Sableye is uh, definitely going to get hurt with that Poison. So let's go right ahead and switch out to a uh, good old Joker right here, and... See what it can actually do next. I want to see. I want to see. So here we go. Joker looking pretty uh, fantastic. Here comes a nightshade attack. And that doesn't do much damage right now. But look at this. Okay, so poison is really, really hurting this Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and go with... Let's go with a disarming voice. I want to see if this actually works against a dark and, and ghost type. And that is actually very effective. So there goes Sableye. And, let's see. Well, Gentleman Gerald has been defeated. I'm so happy about that. Okay, all right. So, that guy has been defeated, but I think there's another trainer here wanting to battle us. And, talk to this guy. You'll find Brooklyn Hill at the end of Route 5. That's where, or that's where Captain Lana does her trial. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. So, let's see. Here we have this guy, and he's like, I'm one of the trial guides that that's here to help out the young trial goers on their island challenge and my p particular duty is to test how strong the tra trial uh, goers have gone or have gotten let's see if you can beat all the trainers on route 5 starters huh, okay and we look like we got some tra well, we got some challenges right here so we definitely need to s uh, switch out a uh, dumb truck right here for another pokemon so let's go straight for ultra psycho the ultimate cheat code right here and Let's see what we got. Okay, we got twins. One plus one is two, but it could also be three or four. There's no way we'll lose. It's important to feel strong. Okay. All right, so here we go. Another battle. And we got quite a few battles here, guys. Lots of battles. 
So here we go, taking on twins Eco and Nico, I think. Isa and uh, Nico, my bad. And there we go, coming out with baby Pokemon, both uh, Eagly Buff and I think, what was it called again? Shoot. Happini, yeah, Happini. All right, let's go. Uh, that's the wrong attack. I don't want to use Kinesis. So here we go. And then, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Wing attack will actually work to Happini right here. So here we go. Confusion attack. Does it hurt? Yes, it does. Say goodbye to Igglypuff. Okay, all right. And look at that. Uh, Ultra Psycho grows to level 20. And everybody else is growing levels too. So here comes a wing attack from our good old buddy Toxic Batman. And Happini, of course, has its uh, high HP as a baby Pokemon. And this will, oh yeah, it will use it. will use copy against uh, my good old Toxic Batman right there. So here we go with confusion. Let's go straight to Happini and let's go with the wing attack. Use it on Happini again. And here we go, confusion. Does its trick, yeah, buddy. Okay, all right. Look at that. All right. And well, looks uh, looks like Toxic Batman grows to level 17, and it wants to learn Confuse Ray, which is great. So let's go ahead and take away. You know what? We're gonna take away Astonish for just the time being. I'm pretty sure it can learn some better moves from there. I don't know. It could. It should. And well, we have defeated the twins, Isa and Nico. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on. Now, there are quite a few items. There are quite a few things that you can actually find in this whole location. One being these guys. Our good old buddy Howe is like, <laughs> man, I lost again. Oh, wow, blonde emo. Are you even taking this seriously? I am. So seriously, I'm just seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Whoa, hey, Draven. This guy is plenty scary. Hmm, you're Draven? Yep. Hmm, not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have better sense to self-preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. I battle for my partner, Noel, to make it strong, though most of the time it gets used up to doing small jobs or Team Skull. Battle me, I won't take no for an answer. Oh, damn. Okay, so uh, <laughs> here we are taking on Gladian, and it looks like to me he is part of Team Skull. The hell? Trying to come out with a spirit, like a spirit bomb or something. Holy crud. Okay, Gladian, okay. I see what you're doing right here. Okay. He's, he's grabbing onto his hand. He's probably having like a convulsion or something. But here we have the ultimate cheat code, Ultra Psycho, ready to take some, uh, you know, kick some ass, take some names. Here we go, Ultra Psycho, confusion attack for the win. And there goes good old Zubat. Feeling it. Oh, yeah, she's feeling it. And uh, Puka grows to level 20. And here comes Type Null. Now, this is a Pokemon that has been uh, created. And... It does evolve. It's somewhat of a, of a pseudo-legendary Pokemon of some sort. Don't know much about it, but you do kind of need, like, what? What was it? It's kind of like a Genesect, where you, you need CDs to actually power it up or give it some di different, spe uh, like, sp specific abilities and whatnot. So, here we go with the Quick Claw, and look at that. Okay. Not so effective, but here comes a Tackle Attack. This is a weird looking Pokemon, and it looks like it's kicking our butt right now. So here we go again with another quick claw attack, and bam, not effective. Good gravy. Yeah, this Pokemon is just a normal type Pokemon, so we are definitely going to be, uh, we're going to be a uh, outmatched right here. This guy is a kind of a strong Pokemon. It's only attack right now is tackle, so... It really, really, really is giving me a, a, a ride for my money right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Baby or... No, not Pursuit. Wait. thought it didn't have Pursuit. What the hell? Okay, so Joker has fainted. Yeah, this Pokemon is a little stronger than what we thought. So, let's go right ahead and use Ultra Cycle right here since it is, it is kind of strong. Pretty strong, I should say. All right, here we go. Let's go with the confusion attack since uh, we are kind of faster than this guy. So confusion attack. 
And, oh god, okay, here comes a pursuit attack. That does some damage. Okay, so here we go. Confusion attack again. And there goes Type Null. I want to learn the history of this Pokemon. It's it's very interesting to me. And look at that. Team Skull Gladian has been defeated. And how annoying! Oh, yes. Okay, so what's next? I do not know. Okay, so he's, he's mad. He is mad. <laughs> not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm not still not ready. Strong opponents? That kid there, his Pokemon are weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat it the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hala when he's serious. You know my grabs? Wait, so you think I'm strong? <laughs> you, oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a little... Uh, aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> the heck? Oh, damn. Here we go. Yo-Yo Slims and his girlfriend right here. I guess it's no surprise that a homeless uh, kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we've got enough backbone to cover for you. Look at that, he's throwing out the, the, the hand signals and all that stuff. With Saeed? Just give it up already. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way, and for what? For a big fat waste of our time, thanks to you? If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklet Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying, and it's time to go. It's time we should be flying. Okay, all right. Listen up, Gladian. The boss does like you. That's true. But we're just we're just some hired help. We keep around for when you, we need you, or you're just somehow. Okay, I, I I didn't read that correctly. You aren't a part of Team Skull, not really. And you never be. Uh, you never will be. Got it? You better get it. He doesn't look like he wants to be in Team Skull. I'm just saying. Oh, damn. So... He's not part of Team Skull. Thanks, Draven and Alakazam, too. It was a good battle. Whew, looks like I gotta train up my Pokemon if I'm going to take the next... Uh, to, to take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here, Draven, take these with you. We're gonna beat this island challenge. Man, he is so chill, and we get ourselves three revives, which is great. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. There are, there is a Pokemon Center. There is a Pokemon Center real, real close by. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and beat this Pokemon trainer, like these Pokemon trainers, and then we'll call it a, we'll call it an episode afterwards. So, if, if it's all right with you, battle us. Combine, or combos can, that can't be used on alone can be used when there are two of us. Oh. Well, I didn't notice that. I really didn't. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle against the combination of Rising Star Duo, Lauren and Justin. Lauren and Justin. Oh, God. And here they're going to be coming out with a Rufflet and Vullaby, the two bird Pokemon of Unova. All right. Talk to Batman. Ultra Psycho, do your thing. And, well, let's see. Let's go with uh, no effect. We're definitely going to not have no effect against the Volleyball right here. So, let's go straight for a good old fashion wing attack to Volibi. Here we go. Confusion attack to Rufflet. And that nearly defeats this Pokemon. Here comes a Pluck attack. Nearly takes out my Pokemon. And I guess... Yeah, they're going to go for combinations right here. So, here we go. Wing attack. Doesn't really do much. So, let's go again. Confusion. Finish this guy off right here. And let's go for a wing attack. On to uh, Volibi again. So, here we go. Confusion attack. And that finishes off Rufflet. So great. So awesome. And, well, here we go. Level 21. For the win right here, and it wants to learn Psybeam. Okay, so a new move. Far more better move, I think. Hold on. Yes, 65. Confusion only does 50. Okay, let's go ahead and forget this one right here. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Everybody's getting experience points, and here comes a pluck attack. Hitting my Toxic Batman, and that's it for Toxic Batman. 
All right, let's go straight for Puka right here, and I should really revive my Pokemon. I really should. Okay, so let's see. Could use a Disable onto this guy, Volibi. And let's go with a Thundershock straight to the Volibi. And, well, here we go with a Disable attack. And what will this do? It will take away its Pluck attack. Here comes Thundershock. And that will... Yeah, that will do a lot. So, can't really do much right now. So, let's go with a Kinesis. And let's go with a Thundershock right here. Obviously, Kinesis... What's it going to do right here? It's going to lower its accuracy. So here we go. Another attack. Thundershock. Obviously because this Pokemon is very, very weak. It's just a baby Pokemon. It's only a spark, basically. And, well, our defenses are falling right here. So let's go right ahead and use another... Te well, another, you know, Kinesis. And here we go. Kinesis attack. Give it a go. And there we go. Lowering its accuracy. So here we go. Thundershock, hopefully for the win, and it does it. Volibi has been defeated. Puka is the hero. And look at that. Our, all, our, all our Pokemon are just growing levels. And Dump Truck, too. Whew. Yep. Yeah, we have won. And, uh, okay. So, let's see. I think that's pretty much all the trainers that we can actually face right here. There is a marker saying or indicating that we need to go there, but... We're going to go into the Pokemon Center, and we're going to stop our episode right here because, well, you know, Draven's got stuff to do. Not only that, but the next adventure is going to be a long one, so, yeah. Now, who'd ever thought that we'd never come back with Pokemon Moon? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have doubted me, but, anywho, this will be the uh, this will be the end right here. I will see you guys in the next episode when we explore just a little bit more and hopefully capture some better Pokemon or something like that. I'll see you guys next time.